द कॉन्सेप्ट डेरिवेशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक इंटेंसिटी एंड मैग्नेटिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू डाइफोल हियर वी हैव टू डेराइव द मैग्नेटिक पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ड्यू टू ए डाइफोल मोमेंट लेट हियर यू हैव टू कंसीडर अ मैग्नेटिक बार ओके सो वेन यू कंसिडर मैग्नेटिक बार एट दैट टाइम इट इज हैविंग द टू फोल्स वन इज द नॉर्थ एंड दर वन इज द साउथ फोल एंड these two folds having the magnetization m and the bar having a length 2l and this bar having a two folds that's why i have to call it as a dipole so you have to take this dipole inside a uniform magnetic field you have to take here a uniform magnetic field lines and you have to cap that magnetic bar inside this magnetic field lines okay so when you kept a magnetic bar inside the magnetic field lines at that time this bar experiences a torque torque so torque means it is a force which is acting two ends equally and oppositely so the force acting on the two ends equal and opposite when the force will be acting on equal and opposite at that time this bar will be rotate when this bar will be rotate due to the magnetic field lines due to this magnetic field lines so when this bar is rotate at that time the work done will be takes place that work done will be nothing but is equal to the stored potential energy so now we have to define the Uh, the magnetic potential energy so work done to rotate a magnetic dipole in a uniform magnetic field is stored as potential energy of the magnetic dipole that one i have to call it as a told it as a stored potential energy of the magnetic dipole so here are the simple expressions here you have to take a magnetic bar inside a magnetic dipole inside uniform magnetic field so the magnetic dipole moment you have to take it as a m and you have to cast this bar at a angle theta and the magnetic field line strength you have to take it as a b and when you cast this bar inside this uniform magnetic field mm -hmm. at that time it experiences a torque so when it experiences a torque that torque you have to take it as t equal to mb sin theta how you are taking this one here the angle is created here angle is created this one okay so this end you have to take it as n and this one you have to take it as s and this one you have to take it as t generally so the angle is here theta and this the bar length you have to take it as a 2l so you know that sin theta equal to opposite by hypotenuse so here opposite is the nt and divided by hypotenuse is the 2l so you send this 2l on this side at that time nt equal to 2l sin theta here you got the nt equal to 2l sin theta and nt equal to 2l sin theta therefore torque equal to mb 2l sin theta so take m into 2l sin theta b sin theta so m into 2l you have to take it as total magnetization b sin theta this is the torque this is the torque expression so that one here we are taking the torque exp expense by it is given by torque equal to mb sin theta so if the dipole rotates through an angle theta so you have to take this dipole or rotates through an angle d theta small angle d theta then work done is given by so the work done small work done will be takes place because the it will be rotates with a small angle d theta 
here we got the small work done dw equal to torque d theta equal to so torque value is mb sin theta you have to put the torque value mb sin theta into d theta okay here we got the small work done now we will find out the total work done so when you are finding the total work done so the power will be rotate completely so the complete rotation of the dipole or this magnetic bar magnetic bar is nothing but a uh, dipole of magnet okay or magnetic dipole so it will be rotate from theta 1 to theta 2 it changes angle from theta 1 to theta 2 is takes place so integrating this above equation with the limits theta 1 to theta 2 so dw integration is total work done total work done w so equal to theta 1 to theta 2 integration mb sin theta d theta as it is equal to so mb magnetization and the magnetic field lines magnetization of the bar and magnetic field lines are constant take outside so integrate this term theta 1 to theta 2 sin theta into d theta so equal to so sin theta integration is minus cos theta with the limits theta 1 to theta 2 and you have to take equal to so minus take outside so minus mb so you have to put the theta 2 once and theta 1 once so cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 we got the integration by definition of potential energy we got so that the total potential energy is equal to the total work done so you have to take potential energy equal to work done equal to minus mb cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 so we got here this is the potential energy of the dipole mag magnetic dipole and for convenience the potential energy of the magnetic dipole is taken to be zero when it is perpendicular to the field so when the magnetic dipole is perpendicular to this magnetic field at that time the potential energy of the bar will be zero so the potential energy of the bar is zero at that time you have to take theta 1 is 90 degree and theta 2 is theta then theta 1 is theta 1 you have to put here theta 1 is cos 90 degree equal to 0 when you put the cos 90 degree equal to 0 at that time you got minus mb and cos 90 is 0 so this term is 0 so only remain cos theta 2 so theta 2 equal theta so you put the theta value here so you got the cos theta so you got u equal to minus m dot b okay here the two special cases are there so the case one is when a dipole is aligned along the magnetic field at that time theta equal to zero so you have to kept this bar along the magnetic field at that time theta equal to zero degree so at that time u equal to minus mb minus means this is having a minimum value of potential energy and the next second one when dipole is perpendicular to the field at that time theta equal to 90 degree already you derived here at that time the potential energy u equal to zero so when a dipole is opposite to the direction of the field okay so the field lines on this direction so bar will be takes on anti parallel to these field lines so at that time we got the theta equal to 180 degree then u equal to mb this is the maximum value of potential energy at that time the bar will be rotate completely at that time it is having a maximum value of potential energy these are the cases okay thank you